what were the highs and lows of getting into the television uh, aspect of your career? Wow. I mean, I have to say, I never thought I would be on TV. It was never a part of the plan. Uh, so, you know, I'm a VP at Tommy Hilfiger at the time that Men of Color comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, Tommy, I told about the book the moment I started shopping this book proposal because I didn't want him to hear on the street that I was moonlighting working on a book. Right. Um, because as a, you know, a company exec and someone who he kind of handpicked and groomed up the ladder, uh, I owed it to him to be transparent about what I was doing. And he not only approved me working on this book at night and on the weekends, uh, he also sponsored the book. Right. And he was interviewed and photographed for the book because he also respects and values uh, the contributions that real men of color, not just celebrities, but just everyday men of color, whether getting dressed for Saturday night or Sunday morning in church, have done to influence global style, as well as his own brand and style. Tommy was always very inclusive around diverse runways and diverse photo shoots yeah. long before it was fashionable, long before execs like me were in his ear. Uh, he is one of, I could think, nine brothers and sisters from a working class family. His friends look like his ads, all mm -hmm. different backgrounds. Um, so when he heard about the book, he got behind the book. The book takes off. And then all of a sudden, these TV shows are inviting me to promote the book as the publisher will, you know, pitch it to a TV show. Mm -hmm. Usually you get local shows. But at that point, being in New York, I was getting national shows because they were all there. Right. So I'm like promoting the book. Okay, sure, great. I thought it was over with. And then the shows kept inviting me back saying, hey, can you talk about what women should wear for spring or what men should wear for fall? Or can you do a makeover for us? And I'm like, sure, you know, I do this for a living. Of course I can tell you the trends and what we saw on the runways. Red carpets really weren't a big thing yet. Um, so I had a choice to make. I was like, oh my gosh, something is really opening up here where these national TV outlets want a conduit to the industry, mm -hmm. you know, almost like a sportscaster, but for fashion. They want experts. They want people who can translate the trends on the runways. And it was just fun. And it was fun to nail those segments in short amounts of time. It turned into me also doing tabletop segments, like I said, makeovers. And then, you know, shows came calling like Oprah and the Smile Network. Uh, and then I had a choice to make. I was like, look, Tommy, I love what I do here, but this new avenue is opening up and it's fun. Um, I think I have to go to grow. And the only way he let me go is if I stayed on as a consultant, which I did, which was great because then I could still pay the bills because TV doesn't <laughs> always pay a lot of money. Exactly. <laughs> so I stayed on as a consultant for the brand and uh, it was great. And we've, you know, we've worked together off and on ever since. And that's how the whole TV thing started as a result of the first book.